Today is a new day, and today we're going to be getting rid of this yellow spring and changing it to black. Now I don't know why a lot of manufacturers, for example like my 2014 EBR that I have here, does something like a red bike and yellow spring. I don't think it looks good at all, uh, but they do try to tie it together with some graphics here, but that's about it. Eventually I'm going to be changing those graphics as well. But in a nutshell, I'm going to be spray painting this with some VHT epoxy gloss black paint. I'll be taking the shock out and there's also a shock reservoir up there that will need to be removed with it. Um, ideally, I'd want to powder coat this, and it's something that I eventually might do, but with it being riding season primo time here, I don't want the bike to be down a couple weeks while it's getting powder coated. So, I guess uh, in a nutshell, we're going to be taking this off, spray painting it, and in a couple weeks, a couple months, something along those lines, I'll give a review and see how durable it is to actually just spray paint your spring. So, let's pull this off and get started. All right, the rear shock is out, and this is the attached reservoir that you kind of have to finagle out of there. But uh, ideally, you'd want to be compressing the spring down, removing this, and then sliding the spring off to paint it and or powder coat it. But we're going to go the easier route to just kind of mask everything as best as possible and try to shoot the paint in the rear sections of these springs. So the reason I didn't want to compress this and remove everything is because I like how the bike performs out of the box and I don't want to mess with the suspension settings because once you compress this and you start finagling with all this stuff then uh, it's much more difficult to put it back to the way it actually came. Another thing to mention is because it is the rear spring and with the bike on the ground um, it's very difficult to get the rear spring out. So what I ended up doing was using three straps here, ratchet straps, and supported it via the rear subframe. Bike tires are on the ground and just kind of snakes up underneath here. So it's very sturdy. One thing that makes matters a little more complex on the EBR is the fact that the shock bolt uh, does get mounted through the front or the upper subframe bolt here. I just ended up putting it back in uh, just to give it extra support. But whenever I remove this to finagle the spring out, it, uh, it was still nice and sturdy in here because there is three big bolts on the other side that hold it in place. So, let's mask this off, get some scotch Brite, get to spraying. All right, so it's all taped up and pretty much ready to paint. So it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's quite tricky to tape this all up, especially on the inside. But uh, I just have it propped up on a box, cut a hole in the reservoir and stuff where the more weight is, is pushing down. So I'll probably end up doing one coat this way, flipping it the other way and then doing another coat and uh, the first two coats are going to be light and the third one is going to be much heavier to get the full coverage but this is pretty much all you need to do to tape it and then scotch bright it just a uh, red scotch bright some basic painters tape and i took some purple power and cleaned it all up purple power bright clean anything like that you want to make sure all the contaminants are off of it any oils stuff like that because the paint will not adhere so what I'm using for the paint is this VHT epoxy paint and directions here if this focuses are pretty basic. You don't need to prime it, just make sure that it's uh, clean. Shake this can really well, two light coats and then a third heavy coat and then I want to say you have to wait like 15 minutes or so in between the coats, 10 minutes between the coats. All right, here it is, all painted up. Not too shabby for a couple hours worth of work. So now it's time to install this inside of that. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. 
And here is the end result. So obviously everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Some people may have liked the yellow with the red. I personally did not. There is still some yellow in the graphics like I mentioned before, but I will be switching these out. I don't know for a darker gray or maybe a black, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. But I think that the black looks way better than the yellow. And in a couple months, I will give a update whether or not this lasts the test of time. But for now, I give the VHT epoxy paint a thumbs up. I don't know if that, I'll count that as a pause up as well. So two thumbs up and a paw. Thanks for watching.